Oh dear. Whoa, easy now. Easy. Why is Caitlin skating like that? Beats me. Not another step! I spent the entire afternoon at the salon, and my hair is perfection. I want to enjoy it while it. <laughs> It. Pretty bad. Ooh, I think they call that the dandelion effect. <laughs> nice quaff. <laughs> Caitlin's having a hair meltdown, and you're applying face cream? Not face cream, man gel. Part of Huntington's new line of male products. They're launching a before and after campaign, and I landed the gig as the after, Natch. <laughs> More like the morning after. What? Sorry, I was just looking for Smithy. Ooh, is this a new boyfriend? Uh-huh, he's so cute and funny and totally crazy about me. He calls me... Jenner! It's adorable when Smithy says it, trust me. Smithy? <laughs> what kind of name is Smithy? Is it a first name or a last name? Make up your mind! I have no idea, Jonesy. <gasps> there he is! Smithy! Over here! <laughs> hey, I'm Smithy. Nice to meet you. Whoa! Better jet, or we'll miss the movie. That was... freaky. Smithy could be Jonesy's identical twin, except with better hair. <laughs> you should talk! Guess Jen still has feelings for me. If you can't go Jonesy, you gotta go Clonesy. <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast Time's last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last little dude. Fans like you make it all worthwhile. Fans? Since when do you have fans? Jude! I think you missed a spot. Thanks, brah. You have groupies too? Chicks can't deny the call of the Zamboni. <laughs> Looks like nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zamboni! You don't know your own powers! It's so obvious. How can Jen not see it? I know! Even this stupid lemon hat can't tame my unmanageable hair. I was talking about Smithy. Right. I read about this in Teen Glam. It's called Mr. Replacement. Jen's subconscious still hasn't worked through her crush on Jonesy from the seventh grade. Now it's manifesting in a replacement crush. So Jen does like Jonesy? Jen's brain won't let her see that Smithy looks exactly like Jonesy. Not until she works through her feelings. You got all that from Teen Glam. Mm-hmm. They branched out after the demise of the boy band. What are we gonna do? We just have to jolt Jen's subconscious into communicating with her conscious again. Uh-huh. Uh. <clears throat> Luckily, I'm a trained professional. Dudes, say hello to my sweet ride. I'm pretty sure Zambonis aren't allowed in the mall, Jude. The ice needed a break from all the fans, so I figured, why not take Zamboni Dude off-roading? <laughs> See? It's my duty, nay, my ice-polishing obligation to give the people what they want. What I want, Maggot, is justice. I'm giving you a citation for illegal parking of an amphibious vehicle. Heavy. Do you stay up late at night making these up? 
I'm usually in bed by 10-ish. No worries, mall cop dude. This should totally cover the charges. You got off lucky this time, punk. But I'll be watching you. Whoa, where'd you get all that cheddar? I gave a couple bras a lift and they slipped me a tip. Nice. Yo, Softskin, aren't you supposed to be working at Huntington's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I help, will you cut me in for half the tips? Couldn't do it without you, bro. You dragged me away from work so I could watch Smithy eat a hot dog? Shh. Just pay attention. Bummer. Bummer. So Jonesy and Smithy are both slobs. So what? How can you not see it? Jonesy and Smithy are practically clones. <laughs> All guys are sloppy eaters. Resistance is normal. Keep exposing subject to stimuli. Hey, where's our stimuli? You guys are acting weirder than usual. This will only take a sec, Jen. Nice. Whoa! Oof. Nice. Whoa! Oof. <gasps> That's what we've been trying to tell you. Smithy and Jonesy are identical. Yeah, identical pigs. I can't believe my boyfriend checked out the Betty. Yeah, remind me to kill Jonesy later. All is quiet in Sector 16. Stole my purse! What? Oh, right. Don't worry, man. I've got the perp in my sights. Interfering with official mall business is a major offense. Your days are numbered, Zamboni dude. Thank you, young man. <laughs> this ain't over! Punk! Our intervention obviously isn't working. I'm just gonna march in there and ask Jen how she feels about Jonesy. Break it to her gently, and don't be surprised if Jen doesn't take it well. Hey, Nikki. What's up? Do you, um, how do I put this? Uh, do you have a thing for Jonesy? <laughs> well, I, I just, what I meant was. <laughs> She's taking it pretty well. You're not paid to laugh. Get back to work. Hey, was that a chuckle? All right. I'll let it go this time. This isn't about my stupid journal entry from the seventh grade, is it? No, it's about you dating Jonesy's clone. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Smithy is nothing like Jonesy. He likes opera. He speaks French. He hates organized sports. But, but, no buts. This conversation is over. Told you she wouldn't take it well. And to your right is meat chunklets. It's chunky going down and coming back up. What seems to be the problem, mall cop dude? Failure to signal illegal dumping of ice rink ice. Uh -huh. Ow! Ow! And overzealous use of mood music. These fines are seriously harshing our profit margin. Zamboni bylaws do not lie. There's no such thing as Zamboni bylaws. You're just jealous that Jude's better at protecting the mall than you are. Oh. Face it, you can't compete with Zamboni, dude. Oh, I can compete, son. And I can win your Zamboni against my golf cart. If you win, you are the run of the mall. But if I win, you have to give up the Zamboni for good. We got a deal. Maggot. Deal. I'll see you punks at 3 p.m. Sharp. Oh. 
Hey, Jonesy. Is this where I apply to be the aftermodel for Huntington's new men's line? Sorry, but you're already looking at him. If you want, I can put in a good word for you as the before. Cool. I could really use the job. It's almost as if I get fired every week. It's like Jonesy's looking in a mirror. It's obvious to everyone except poor, I sick Jen. Jason and Joni taking a ride on the Love Zamboni together forever. Dude! Dude! Forever. Yeah! There's like two Joneses! Dude, watch out! I was seeing the Jude! Two dudes? Before and after, twins? Great idea! You're hired! There you are. You'll never believe what Nikki just said to me. What'd you do that for? Is something wrong, Smithy? Yeah, because I'm Jonesy! That's called a first base breakthrough. Yeah, with my boyfriend. Great. Yeah. I can't believe I could Jonesy! <laughs> You're totally jonesing for Jonesy. Once you've got it, there's no cure for Jonesy fever. How about penicillin? It's okay, Jen. We all know you used to crush on Jonesy. I also used to wet the bed. People change. I only kissed Jonesy because he was wearing that stupid wig. Why are you still wearing that thing? I have to for the Huntington's campaign. They want me and Smithy to look identical. See? Even Huntington's thinks they look alike. You're all wrong. Smithy is one of a kind. Guess who? It's Smithy. I know who it is. Hey, sweetie. Look what I have. <gasps> Two tickets to the White Hot Alabino Peppers concert! Woo! Only the best for my Jenner. How thoughtful and so unlike something Jonesy would do. Hey! Think the tickets deserve a kiss? No! Is something wrong? I meant, no way I can wait for this concert! No kiss! I mean, you're the best, Smithy! Poor kid. She's really got it bad for me. Watch it, Jonesy. That's it, Jude. You need to be in top shape for this race with Ron. Be the Zamboni. Become one with the machine. What's this move called? Crouching Zamboni, broken Malkop. Ron doesn't stand a chance. I'm really excited about the concert. Thanks again for the tickets. Anything for you, Jenner. Ah! Are you okay? Ah. <gasps> you know what you need? A makeover. I don't know. Here, this hat is so cool. And these sunglasses? And this jacket. Make sure to do it all the way up. There. Perfect. I'm starting to think you don't like me the way I am. <laughs> what gave you that idea, silly? <laughs> Maybe I should go to the concert alone. I like you, Smithy. Really, I do. It's just I'm... I'm... I'm not attracted to you anymore. Gee, thanks. No, I mean, you remind me of my brother. I mean, my stepbrother. I mean, ugh, I'm not explaining this right. You've explained it just fine. <sighs> my relationship with Smithy is over. Jen, where are you? Down here. You haven't hidden from boys since Junior Cardoza threatened to cut off your ponytail in kindergarten. I know, this is so bad! Oh, come up here. You don't want to sit on that floor. It hasn't been cleaned in months. Isn't that your job? Let's focus on Jen, shall we? Mm. Whoa, careful! Hands off, Jen. You may have the hots for the Jonesmeister, but the slab of gorgeous man meat you see before you is taken. 
And there goes my lunch. It's not your fault, Jen. No chick is safe from my raw animal magnetism. For Nikki's sake, I'll do my best to dial it down, but I can't promise anything. What are you talking about? I don't have- Shh! You don't need to tell me. I can feel your pain. Ow! Now you can feel your pain. Good to see heartbreak hasn't affected your aim. Jen! Oops! I, I gotta run! Jen, wait! Your stuff! I came to give Jen her stuff back. Ow! What was that? I wanted to see if you get hurt, does Jonesy feel pain? Nope, nothing. Maybe you have to really hurt him. Drivers, start your engines. Isn't this a girl's job? Oh, you're going down, maggot. Eat my ice chips, small cop dude. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go. That music's really distracting. Sorry. Go, go, go! Is the coast clear? Smithy isn't here, if that's what you mean. Don't you think you're taking this too far? What if you're right, Nikki? If I wasn't still hung up on Jonesy, why would I fall for a guy who looks exactly like him? Mm. Maybe you didn't fall for Smithy because he looks like Jonesy. Maybe you fell for him in spite of it. Interesting. Keep talking. As soon as you realized Smithy looks like Jonesy, you didn't want to kiss him anymore, right? Ew, no way. And you didn't think they looked alike until Nikki pointed it out. Right? Yeah, so? Maybe you have a case of the look-alikes. Much less serious than Mr. Replacement. Well, Smithy does like poetry. He even wrote me a love poem. The closest I ever got to a love poem was when Jonesy burped there once was a man from Nantucket. See? Different. What else? Smithy loves cooking. He made me my favorite pasta dinner from scratch. Jonesy ordered us his favorite pizza once. I paid for it. Smithy calls me Jenner in that most adorable way. On our last date, Jonesy called me Hey You. Are you sure you don't want Jonesy? Because I might want to trade up. You guys are so right. I do like Smithy. Thanks, Caitlin. A case of the lookalikes? Did you get that from Teen Glam too? Teen Pulse. Trump's Teen Glam every time. Basic magazine hierarchy. I'm learning so much. Smithy! I'm sorry, Jen. It's over. But I'm Jenner! I thought you were too, but all you've been trying to do lately is change me. Jenner loves me the way I am. We could really have something special now that I've stopped picturing kissing my brother! Go, Zamboni! Go, Zamboni, dude! dude. Go! Sure thing, little bro. Dude, maybe you should finish the race before you start signing autographs? Chill. I'm seriously in the lead. Uh, Jude? Uh, Jude? Not now, bro. Zamboni dude doesn't turn his back on his awesome fans. Zamboni dude likes to walk among the little bros and bras who dream of one day riding that big Zamboni across the rink of life. Does Zamboni dude like to lose? <gasps> Goodbye to Zamboni dude, maggot. Your hair looks great, Kate. No more puffball. Thanks. <sighs> Still bummed about the Zamboni? Maybe it's for the best. I let fame corrupt me. 
I forgot what Zamboni Dude was really about. The ice. Oh. Let me guess. You lost your job? Turns out nine out of ten shoppers thought Smithy's before looked better than my after. So the line tanked. Mm. Don't worry, Jen. I'll find another job. <sighs> like I care about that. I just got dumped. Smithy didn't even give me a second chance. He'll never find another Jenner. Something tells me he'll be just fine. Whoa, she's a dead ringer for Jen. Really? Sorry, I just don't see it. Not, oh, not again. again. Attention, soldier. Report back to the ice rink at 1,700 hours. You're giving me back my Zamboni? How come? An old army Zamboni injury has prevented me from fulfilling my rink duties. What army owns a Zamboni? Unless you were invading Finland? That information was supposed to be classified. All right, Zamboni dude is back. And this time, he's totally gonna shun fame and focus on the ice. Zamboni dude, can I have your autograph? No problem, bruh. Grab him, guys. Ugh. Hey, <clears throat> just one more. Then, then I'll stop, promise. for the Miller Flip. Yes, first place! Jen, isn't this the part of your dream where you joke? Whoa! <gasps> Was it something I said? Get out of my room. <laughs> and out of my dreams! Oh, that was my last clean pair! No, not another fart attack! Gross! Ew! Someone used my toothbrush to scrub the toilet! I know how much you love having a freshly scrubbed bathroom. You are the most... Ah! Every day, same breakfast burrito, same dangerous salt addiction. Not today, Nikki. Oh, good for you. With Jonesy's non-stop pranking, I can't even trust an innocent salt shaker anymore. Ah! Mm. I am calm. I am zen. I will not... Sink to Jonesy's juvenile level. Jen, did you sit in wet paint? Go ahead. You can scream. Ah! Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. To be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. <laughs> what? Smile pretty for the camera. Ah, oh, Jonesy replaced my spearmint gum with this prank stuff. I can't let my guard down for a nanosecond. Ever since we moved into Jonesy's dad's house, I've been getting pranked nonstop. Uh, what's with the swagger? Oh, pranking Jen five times a day before breakfast really puts a spring in my step. Don't you have some lame bird watching job to get to? Not bird watching, bald eagle watching. Eagles? In the mall? No way! Wait! 
Guess they made a wrong turn migrating or whatever. Thank you, Dr. Suzuki. Mall management's paying me to keep an eye on them just to keep some bird protection group happy. You mean C-R-I-S-P-E-E? -E? Citizens really into supporting protected eagles everywhere? Crispy? What, as in fried chicken? Nice name for a bird protection agency. Until I win the lottery, the Jonesmeister has to earn his keep. Have fun at work. Oh, I better go too. It's almost nine. Uh, Jen, it's 10 a.m.? No, my watch clearly says nine. <laughs> Jonesy! Uh, huh. Who knew Jonesy was actually good at something? Besides making out. Uh, too much information? Little bit. Sorry I'm late, Coach. Jonesy keeps playing these pranks on me and I- There's no excuse for a delay of game penalty! Excuse me, I'm pretty sure the skis are $200, not $2,000. I'll stay late to make up for it. You'll do more than that, Missy. I'm doubling your sales quota and making you do inventory. At the same time? Good thinking. Now, get in the game! <laughs> Miss, I- That'll be $2,000. <sighs> hey. How'd Coach Halder take the whole late-for-work thing? Besides doubling my sales quota and sticking me with boring inventory? Terrific! Thanks! On the bright side, I get more Paolo time. He's dreamy. Jones used to prank me all the time, too, till I finally got him to stop. How'd you do that? By fighting back. If you want, I can help you fight back. I've been in the trenches. I know things. This isn't a war. It's just Jonesy being a jerk. I can handle it. You sure? No. Now, if you'll excuse me... I have an entire store to count. Goodbye, check. Hello, withdrawal. A 50? But I only took out 20. Holy cashmere! Oh, but I can't keep it. There must be some mistake. Attention, valued customers. We're giving away our biggest grand prize ever in our You Save, We Make You Spend contest. And it could be yours. <gasps> I must have won! Eee! Shopping spree, here I come! <sighs> you think I would have spotted those glorified pigeons by now? It's been four hours! You know what they say about animals? If you love something, let it pee. You mean set it free. Even better! By setting it free, it can pee wherever it wants! On that note, time for a washroom break. <laughs> Dude, you've been pranked! <laughs> Aw, oh, man! When I'm done, Jen won't know what hit her. You're gonna hit Jen? No, Jude. I'm gonna make her pay. She owes you money, too? Never mind. Plastic wrap the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> now you'll never trust bathrooms again. Out of my way. <sighs> why do I smell beef? Ah! And why is the water brown? A beef bouillon cube? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Now you'll never trust bathrooms again. What's with all the bling? I won a contest at the bank. The ATM gave me all kinds of money. It must be a mistake. What bank is going to give away money? The bank manager said, we're giving away our biggest grand prize ever and it could be yours. Now it is mine. Don't ruin this for me, Nikki. <laughs> We're all out of lemons. There's a whole stack right there. No juice for you. Precision cut, flawless clarity, great color, and whoa, one and a half carats. The four C's don't lie. I knew this whole job thing was a front. You're some kind of heiress, aren't you? Want to be BFFs again? And no thanks. <laughs> I knew old BFF. Nikki, help me. Get her off. <laughs> Karma's a beautiful thing. Gotta get this. Mm -hmm. Assassin! I don't 
can't see you counted. Ah! Oh. Hello? You sound stressed. Time for a coffee break? I am stressed. I think I'm sleep eating or something. Sleep eating? You know, like sleepwalking only with more trips to the fridge? My uniform barely fits anymore. Maybe you and Jonesy ought to cool it with the pranks before this gets out of hand. <gasps> oh, you think Paolo saw? Nah, you're good. <sighs> Two hours of hiding from Trisha. My foot may never wake up. But at least she's nowhere to be. I've been looking for you everywhere. Where do you think you're going? Half past two is the best time to catch the sun through the skylights for maximum diamond sparkle. Oh, check it out. A&F is giving away free Rancho hoodies to the first uh, 30 customers. Really? Whoa, what's the big hurry? Wyatt, quick, I need a bodyguard. To protect the bling? Caitlin, you and your diamonds still in there? To protect me from Trisha. My new swag is like a giant Trisha magnet. And she's driving me nuts. You gotta help me. I'm not really the bodyguard type. I can pay. Yeah, how exactly are you affording all this stuff? Not now, Wyatt. Are you gonna help me or not? Fine. Hey, Trisha. Want to hear the new song I wrote about, um, Father's Day? What to get your daddy so he doesn't gripe? A mustache trimmer or a tie with stripe? Ugh. There's only one thing grosser than socks with sandals, and that is talk singing. I am outie. Wow. You have a real talent for turning girls off. Gee, thanks. <sighs> okay, who smells like... Soup. That would be me. And why do I smell like soup, you ask? Because Jen stuck a bouillon cube in the shower head. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention pranking you with the old red sock in the laundry <laughs> trick. <laughs> Bald eagle spotter, if that's even your real name. Too late, Sis Lord. Evading the Rebel Alliance won't help you now. I wasn't evading, I was hiding. Your continuing deceit about the eagle's whereabouts is causing unwanted ripples in the force. Okay, so I sent in some false location reports. I had to. I haven't even seen the eagles yet. <gasps> Come on, my beautiful Padme. We will find the eagles ourselves. I've seen them, you know. You've seen the eagles? Why didn't you tell me? We've been together all day. It's like the weird dude said. You gotta be one with the force. Forget the stupid force. You gonna help me out or not? Ugh. <laughs> the two left shoes prank. Classic. Let me guess. Jen stole all your right shoes? It's a new fashion trend. Right is out, left is in. You used to play the same trick on me until I got wise to your pranks. <laughs> <laughs> Fart keychains, the cutting edge of humiliation technology. <laughs> Wasn't me. If Jen thinks she can top me, she has no idea who she's dealing with. Someone should get him good. Hey, Jen. I've been thinking it over, Wyatt, and I've decided to take you up on your offer to help me prank Jonesy. I thought Jen was going to cool it with the pranks. Tell Nikki that was before Jonesy switched my hand cream with super glue. Ow! Now, it's war. What? Masterson! Working out while doing inventory? If you're fishing for a raise, Masterson, I'll... Just trying to keep my figure in check, coach. I know how you feel. When I played pro football, I remember having to work off the beer gut I developed after we lost every championship. It was always play, lose, gut. Play, lose, gut, 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 gut. Good times. Good times, Masterson. Oh. Ah. Stupid, cheap uniforms. Masterson! That's a five minute major for sassing the uniform. Hello? Tell me Operation Prank Jonesy is on track. Don't worry. Jonesy won't know what hit him. <laughs> hey, Trisha.
Patricia, I wrote another song. Mother's Day is for your mama. So help me, Tuck Singer. If you sing another Tucky Singy Tuck song, I am going to sue your vocal cords off. You're good. Thanks. Why is your head tilted like that? I never thought I'd say this, but diamonds are more trouble than they're worth. Now, about that payment we discussed? <gasps> Caitlin, I can't wear these. Don't worry, your neck muscles will adjust. Tell Surprise, another wrong text message about the Eagles location. I'm so furious with Jonesy, I can feel the dark side of the forest raging to escape me. Or maybe I'm just thirsty. Two smoothies, please. The more we simulate the forest, the more the Eagles will dig it. How do you know all this? I have no idea. Just follow my lead. Oh, gross! I mean, all right, we found the eagles! It feels good to text the truth for a change. Dude, I think I found the eagle's nest! Oh, someone's gross gitch! <laughs> you mean my gross gitch? Jen's been leaving them all over the mall and telling everyone they're mine. That must be Nikki. I left her a message to meet me for lunch. Hey, babe, ready for some taco stand lip locking action? Uh, Miss Dunwoody? What do you mean you can't wait? For our what? No, no, don't meet me in half. Hello? Who's Miss Dunwoody? My mom's best friend. Apparently, we have a date. Aw, oh, man, Jen must have rearranged all the numbers in my cell phone. <laughs> Sweet. I mean, harsh. Fear not, Jude. The big prank I've been setting up for days is about to pay off. Jen will finally be forced to admit defeat. Still trying to get back in shape? I've got to burn fat and build muscle. You might want to cover those muscles. I'm almost naked and he still doesn't notice me? Well, maybe she's his cousin. Ooh, no, no, scratch that. <laughs> Masterson, the replacement uniforms have arrived. I'm all giddy. And not a moment too soon. Uh, Jen, isn't that a little big on you? I ordered a larger size because I thought I gained weight. Ah, uh, Jonesy! He must have taken in my old uniform to make me think I've gained weight. Okay, remember when I warned you guys the pranks would get out of control? Well, it just happened. I haven't even begun to fight. How'd the breakup with Miss Dunwoody go? There were tears. Bummer. What'd you say? I told her we're at different stages in our life. I'm young and, well, she's not. Why, Jonesy? I never thought I'd run into you here. Aren't you supposed to be on Eagle Watch? Dude, you know I come here every week to watch the lottery draw on TV. Hmm, TV's on the fritz. Luckily, there's this handy-dandy radio. Time to check those lottery tickets. You could be this week's big winner. This is my week. I can feel it. <laughs> this week's numbers are 4, 12, 16, 22, 39, and 41. I won. <gasps> I won. No way. That's awesome! I know I said I'd win, but I say that every week. I can't believe I actually won this time! What about the Eagles? <laughs> Let them crap on someone else! I quit! I'm a millionaire! Woohoo! Best performance of my career. What do you mean? I just made it up to prank Jonesy. The lottery let you pick the numbers? Jude, I don't work for the lottery. Your secret's safe with me. <sighs> Okay, Caitlin, this is getting out of hand. I know. I can't shake Trisha no matter how hard I try. That money doesn't belong to you. You have to give it back. I learned a really important lesson today. At first, the money seemed great, but it came with all kinds of problems. Overwhelming guilt? Hi, new old BFF. Overwhelming Trisha. Girls, guess what? I won the lottery. I'm a millionaire. 
Careful, Jonesy. Money isn't all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, it is! Hey there, handsome. See? Told ya! What are you gonna do with all your cash, Jonesy? Find more ways to prank me? Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I got so carried away. You are? Well, me and my brothers prank each other all the time, but we love it. I guess winning the lottery has made me see that it's way more fun to make others happy. So I decided to give half my winnings to charity. Really? Which one? Crispy! They're gonna restore the bald eagle's natural habitat so they don't have to crap on me in the mall anymore. Charity? Ew! I'm outie! Oh, I wish I had thought of that. I'm glad you're sorry about the pranks, but there's something you should know. Hold that thought! You haven't seen the best part yet. Ta-da! I bought us all gifts! Why? Because I can afford it. Oh, no, you can't. Your lottery win was another prank. The biggest one yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Nice try. Even you couldn't pull that off. But I could. The numbers on the radio? That was me. So the TV wasn't broken? And I'm not a millionaire? Guess I have to make some returns. Ah, uh, hold it right there, maggot. You still owe me 50 for the dolly. Settle for a fiver? Sold. I got you good. So, how come I don't feel better? Oh, man, not again. <laughs> feel better now? <laughs> Much. <laughs> I take it you gave the money back? Yeah, and the bank manager was so grateful, she gave me the grand prize. Was it money? <laughs> oh man, a toaster oven! Who would want such a crappy grand prize? Hot, hot, hot! Glad hot, someone can hot. find use for that thing. If I'd known I couldn't return open food gifts, Jude, I would have bought you socks. On the bright side, at least you won't have to watch Eagles anymore. Yeah, Crispy wasn't too thrilled about my bogus donation. Guess neither of us has much to smile about today. Unless you count seeing Jude eat a strudel that I accidentally on purpose dropped on the disgusting mall floor. Ew! Jonesy! Still good. Cold. Besides, it looked better on the hanger. Hangers can be so cruel. Ooh. <gasps> Does this jacket look all right? <laughs> she means you look sensational. You too. I'm Vince. <laughs> Meet me for coffee in an hour. <laughs> Can't wait. Ah. <gasps> uh. Does this scarf clash with my jumper? Ah. Uh, she means this scarf is perfect. Funny. Perfect is the word I'd use to describe you. I'm Blake. <gasps> Can I thank you uh, with a bit of nosh? Say, the fountain at noon? <laughs> I'm so there. Ah! Uh, stupid poodle sweatshirt! Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast Time's last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last And then Blake asked me out too! <laughs> this is like the best shopping day ever! And where were you while Caitlin was being asked out by every boy in sight? 
Sometimes I get a little flustered around guys. It didn't help that you were wearing that hideous sweatshirt and drooling. You flooded your eyelashes, didn't you? Define flutter. Come on, there's no way some stupid eyelash <laughs> flutter can make a girl irresistible. You're either hot or you're not. <sighs> Show him, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> That can't be legal. Don't worry, okay? I'm not going to date two guys. I just need one date with each guy to decide who's right for me. I'm parched. How much lemonade can I get for an old chicken satay? Ew, none. Ever. It's from my days at Stick It. Gross! You should sell it online. You should throw it out. Or bury it. Burn it. I like Nikki's idea the best. You're going online, furry little satay. No one's going to pay good money for rotten meat, Jude. That's cool. I'm more of a trading man myself. I wonder what I'll get for it. Probably botulism. Cool. <laughs> Later. Time for my first date of the day. Coffee with Vince. Wish me luck. Good luck snagging every hottie in the mall so there's none left for the rest of us. Uh, bitter much? Well, we can't sit here. This table's reserved. Yeah, for me. Ooh. Hmm, April harvest, growers reserve, western exposure, two cups, and keep it coming. So I put Emperor's mascot on the back of my moped and sped out of there before anyone even noticed the penguin was missing. <laughs> oh, Vince, <laughs> you're too much. I could listen to your stories all day. Oops, better run if I'm gonna make it to my next day, er, duty, my next duty, which is working at the lemon. Bye. Sweet, my first trade. Chicken Lover 32 wants to trade you for a glow-in-the-dark pen. So congrats on the new home. May you be as happy there as you were in the bottom of my pack. Okay, date number two. Show me what you've got. Hi, Blake! Caitlin, you look amazing. <coughs> Is there a draft in here? Oh, are you cold? Allow me. Thanks! Where should we go for lunch? No need. I brought lunch to you. <gasps> oh, Blake! No one's ever done anything this romantic for me before. Well, then no one's ever understood how incredible you are before. That's true. You make me feel so inspired, so alive. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have captured my heart, Caitlin. You seem to have captured my hand. And I'm never letting go. Flippin' burgers can't be wrong, not if I can sing this song. I'm sick of teens loitering. Say hello to your new co-workers, George and Gracie. Pleased to meet you, kid. Welcome to the team. I'm Wyatt. Well, isn't he a polite, well-spoken lad, George? Ask him if he knows how to make this uniform more comfortable. It's pinching my buttocks. George, don't say that in a restaurant. Why not? Restaurants are full of buttocks. George, I'll just be over here. And it went on like that for the rest of the day. <laughs> they were arguing about buttocks? Man, you are so boned. Can't you just tune them out? You try tuning out a two-hour debate on whether our straws are white with red stripes or red with white stripes. Go on, I dare you. You should try industrial strength earplugs. Those things really work? How do you think I put up with the clones? Not to mention this meathead. Hey, check it out. I'm a Burger McFlipsters uniform. Ooh, pinchy. <laughs> I should get some for home use. Good idea. Bruh, you're never going to believe it. I just traded my glow-in-the-dark pen for these candy-colored cigars. Congratulations. But those aren't cigars, Jude. They're more feminine. What? They're tampons. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted a mature boyfriend. Thanks, babe. You wish. There you guys are. How are your dates? Incredible. They're both so different and so great. 
I mean, they are so great. Okay, we get it. But I can't keep dating them both. Pardonnez-moi. You most certainly can. But I'm usually a one-guy girl. You're also a great shopper. Some have called me a master. But what's that got to do with Vince and Blake? You wouldn't buy a dress without checking out the other stores in the mall, right? Hmm. Comparison shopping is essential. So what if you buy a few dresses and take them for a spin? If you don't like them or they don't fit, you can always take them back. The customer is always right. Looks like you've got yourself the ultimate two-for-one deal. <laughs> I love two-for-one deals. Ow! Don't even think of taking another dress for a spin, got it? Don't listen to him, Caitlin. And I'm not saying that because you're hogging all the guys in the mall, I swear. Though you could leave some testosterone for the rest of us. Just saying. What Jen means is, you're on a dating roll, but at what price? Half price. Because it's two-for-one! Ugh, I give up. Here you go, ladies. Hot and fresh. Pass the ketchup. You mean ketchup. I think I know how to pronounce my favorite condiment. Now pass the ketchup. <laughs> ketchup, ketchup. Either way, it's bad for your heart. Forget about my heart. I'm more worried about my hemorrhoids. Uh, itching or burning? Ew. Wait, your burgers. Uh, that's the third time today. Will you give me the ketchup or not? Not till you pronounce it ketchup. It's pronounced ketchup. Just like it's spelled. And who decided to spell it that way? It makes no sense at all. Oh, and catsup makes sense. Ah! You ever heard yourself snore? It's like sleeping beside a bear with a head cold. <laughs> well, you're like... <sighs> Kill me. Kill me now. So, have you picked Mr. Right yet? Or at least Mr. Right now? Not even close. First, Vince took me dancing. I could dip you for hours. Ouch! Careful. Every rose has its thorns. Then, Blake wrote me a poem. You're a flower and a jewel. A prayer for this sad fool. I want to jump into your pool and be your sweet love tool. Aww. Oh, Blake. Caitlin, you're my fate. Lynn. Wait, I'm sorry. Fate, Lynn? It's romantic. You gonna let me finish or not? Fine. Fate, Lynn. Continue. Anyway, after that, Vince surprised me at work. <gasps> I, uh, dethorned them this time. Oh, Vincey. Then, just when I thought I'd made my decision, Blake showed me the stars. That's Orion and the Big Dipper. Oh, and that's my favorite constellation, the Caitlin. Is there really a constellation named the Caitlin? It's not an entire constellation. Just one star. That's all I could afford. You had a star named after me? Now whenever I look to the heavens, I'll see you. Oh, Blakey. Ooh, tough choice. I am so happy for you right now, I could scream. Ah! Uh-huh. Whenever Vince is around, I hear music. And then there's Blake, with his poet's heart and tragic good looks. So I've given it a lot of thought. And I really think... Please don't say it. Don't say what? That you think you found the one. We've heard it a zillion times before. For your info, that wasn't what I was going to say at all. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. What I was going to say is, I really think they're the two. Oh. <sighs> If I choose Vincey, I have to dump Blakey. And if I choose Blakey, I have to dump Vincey. What should I do? Start by dumping the Y from their names. How do I pick just one? It's like saying I can only wear one pair of shoes for the rest of my life. Whoa, some lady just offered me a lamp for those chicular unmentionables. <laughs> Who's Tiffany? A Tiffany lamp? Those things are really valuable. Sweet. Don't really need it, but maybe someone else does. Wow, it's quiet in here. Too quiet. Yeah, we came to hear the Bickersons. <sighs> They're on a break. It's the only time they don't argue. They just help themselves to some hot water, put in tea bags they brought from home, and then they sit there staring and sipping without saying a word. Looks like they've started a trend. 
Okay, creepy. <sighs> Here we go. And another thing. Coins are too heavy. No, they're not. They're too shiny. Shine doesn't make them sag in my pockets. Heaviness doesn't make them blind me in the light. Aw, they're adorable. Hmm, they remind me of you and the way you love to bicker. Nobody bickers better than you, babe. The Bickersons aren't adorable. They're highly annoying. Not to mention they're driving the customers away. Oh, I need a new job. Hey! Some hombre wants to trade my Tiffany lamp for a pair of plane tickets to Hawaii. <gasps> what? No way! Dude! You're kidding! Only you could turn a rotten piece of chicken into plane tickets. If only I wasn't allergic to poi. Hey, dollface. Hi, Vincy. Dudes, you hear that? Sweet tunage. Kaden? <gasps> Hi, Blakey. Huh, that's Blakey. I mean, Blake. My, uh, brother. Yeah, brother. Wait here. Who was that snogging you? It's just Vincey. I mean, Vince, my, uh, brother. Wait here. Whoa, I didn't know Caitlin had a brother, and now she's got two? I really gotta start paying attention. Gotta get back to planning our next date. See you later, dollface. I'll see you on our date. Mwah. Cheers. Oh. You're right, Jen. I can't date two guys at once. Glad I finally got through. I'm totally out of shape. If you have to narrow it down, do it quick. Just dump the first guy who does something you don't like. That should be easy enough. <clears throat> Perfect. Vince, we need to talk. This used to belong to my grandmother. She told me on her deathbed to give it to the girl who has stolen my heart. This is so beautiful. Darn it. Oh, I must have left my wallet at home. Really? Great. We need to talk. <gasps> this man is having a heart attack. Sir, stay with me. You're actually saving his life? Well, isn't that just perfect? Tim, you know I don't like to complain, but this time I can't help it. The Bickersons are driving away customers, and they don't actually do any work, and I can't take it anymore! Ah! Bringing in a more mature clientele was a huge mistake. We're going under. Get rid of them, and you can have a raise. Really? I'm afraid Burger McFlipsters is going to have to let you go. Son, are you really going to fire a man five times your age? <laughs> Without our paychecks, I don't know how we'll survive. <laughs> Gracie's so fragile, losing this job just might kill her. It's okay, Georgie. We can always survive on ketchup soup. <laughs> Cats up! Don't get me started! Last question. Is he more likely to A, kiss your hand, B, kiss your butt, or C, kiss your cash goodbye. A. Okay. According to the first three magazines, you should hang on to Vince. Great! But according to the last three magazines, you should stick with Blake. Ah, stupid quizzes. Hey there, dollface. There's a hot art show tonight. You in? Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Vince was just leaving. Later, bro. Your brother's very affectionate. We were raised by hippies. There's a gallery opening tonight. I'll meet you there at 7. Sure, yeah. Later. Uh, you do realize you've just agreed to go to the same event with both guys? Vince, art show, Blake, gallery opening. <gasps> oh, no! What's with the drama, ladies? Caitlin just double booked her dates for tonight. Is that all? Don't worry about a thing. The Jonesmeister will take care of everything. Attention customers! Burger McFlipsters is making a small pricing change to cover costs. From now on, hot water will be five cents a cup. <gasps> you can't do that. Water's free. 
Heating it's not. How dare you talk back to Georgie? He was in the war. Okay, I'm out. Boycott McFlipsters! Boycott McFlipsters! Boycott McFlipsters! Boycott McFlipsters! Boycott McFlipsters! The water may not be free anymore, but we are! <laughs> right, we'll get back to work. The artist is all the rage in Berlin. Ooh, how Euro. I'm really looking forward to spending the evening with you. Me too. Now stay here, I'll be right back. Caitlin! We're going to have a fantastic time. Hold that thought, I'll be right back. I changed my mind, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Caitlin, chill. I got your back. Put the earbud in your ear and I'll talk you through it. And if your plan backfires? At least I blend in. Sorry about that. <sighs> Bathroom. You're worth the wait, Caitlin. Blake at 10 o'clock. Heads up. Ooh, you know when you've just gone and then you think, I could totally go again right now? Back soon. Sorry about that, Blakey. Where were we? I was just about to kiss you. Vince at 8 o'clock! I don't know which way that is! Uh, are you talking to me? No! I mean, yes. Why don't you get us drinks? Something that'll, uh, take a while to pour. Off you go now. Shoot, shoot. Got you a crayon and <gasps> soda. Might be good for the, uh, bladder issues. Hmm. Thanks. Blink at 6 o'clock! Stop telling me the time! I wasn't. Are you okay? No, because I... Really have to pee. Be back. Oh. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Modern art. It's so realistic. <laughs> ah, abort! I'll uh, get us new drinks. No, stay. I'd love to, but. Mm -hmm. I've heard of kissing cousins, but you two are brother and sister. Fancy. Oh, I'm so sorry. What are you apologizing to your brother for? I'm not her brother. It's okay. Vincy's not my brother. <gasps> and neither is Blakey. <sighs> I've been dating you both. I just can't share my lady with anyone. Ciao. You've shattered my heart. Farewell, Caitlin. Imagine you're a butterfly and flutter. <laughs> Maybe you're trying too hard. Story of my life. Mm. Someone offered me their condo in New York for the plane <gasps> ticket. A condo? Holy! But I've decided not to keep it. No! <laughs> How come? I didn't care about any of the traded stuff the way I care about the chicken satay. It may be inedible, heck, maybe lethal, but it's mine. So I traded the condo for it, and now it's back where it belongs. You're lucky you know what you want, Jude. Wish I had figured it out before Blakey and Vincey dumped me. Something tells me there'll be more hot guys. <gasps> Want to go out sometime? It really works! Caitlin, you're a genius! <sighs> She'd love to go out with you.